anytime. Everything, everywhere, all at once. This is the title of that award Oscar winning movie. I think it won seven or nine different, award, different Oscars. Now I confess my total ignorance about this movie. I don't know what it's about. The title is what caught my attention. All of us have moments when everything, everywhere, all at once happens. The old cliche is all hell breaks loose. Now consider these examples and then we have a reason why trouble sometimes lands on our doorstep. A son-in-law says, One year, I decided to buy my mother-in-law a cemetery plot as her Christmas gift. The next year, I didn't buy her a gift. When she asked me why, I answered, Well, you haven't used last year's gift yet. And that's how the fight started. Now, Joe says, my wife and I were sitting at a table at her school reunion, and she kept staring at a drunken man swigging his drink as he sat alone at a nearby table. And I asked her, do you know him? Yes, yeah, she sort of sighed. He's my old boyfriend. I understand he took to drinking right after we split up those many years ago. And I hear he hasn't been sober since. Gosh, her husband Joe said. Who would think a person could go on celebrating that long? And that's how the fight started. Sometimes, folks, we cause our own trouble. By what we say, by some things we say, but not by some things we do. Whether we cause our own trouble or not, the truth is, trouble's going to come to each of us. We're not exempt. James writes, Consider it pure joy, my brothers and sisters, whenever you face trials of many kinds. Blessed is the one who perseveres under trial. Now, James is telling us we do not persevere by ourselves. God's always present with us. And God is always ready to help us persevere and overcome our troubles. Eric Gritz tells about riding a city bus one day. We saw this large sign advertising brand new condominiums. The sign announced, Condominiums for sale, trouble-free living. Please inquire within. And he comments, I would like to sign a two-year lease anywhere that could produce trouble-free living. When you think about it, there's only one place that is trouble-free. And that's in heaven, when the believer is in the presence of God. The Bible says in this world, we're going to have troubles, we're going to have trials, we're going to have temptations. James never says if trouble comes. He says when they will come. Viktor Frankl was a prisoner in a Nazi consecration camp. In one of his books, he makes a statement if anyone has a why to live, they can endure any how. Think about that. Our why to live is Jesus Christ. And our how to live is Jesus Christ. 